the river of vehicles on 7175 across the Ohio is a no flow. 275 a mess, it's all mess. You don't know which way to go. The Prince Finch has gone from a steady stream of cars to being a traffic dam. And now many drivers are switching those two words around. From um, Fort Mitchell and we just came down the hill and it's been bumper to bumper. Traffic everywhere. I mean, doesn't matter where you go. The bridge closure is causing tie-ups Houdini couldn't escape. Meanwhile, expect on 471 around 275 in Kentucky, lots of jams. There's a line to get on about every open bridge around town too. And even those secret side streets are not a reliable option. They kind of shut down the little streets where you take shortcuts. They cut some of those off so that people don't take them. And making it all worse is the closing of one of the few remaining arteries across the river. The biggest thing we're trying to sort out right now is the reopening of the Roebling suspension bridge. The Roebling bridge was closed after some 55 ton trucks violated the 11 ton limit on the 150 year old plus bridge. Police will be set up on both sides trying to reroute and prevent that from happening again. But the Roebling won't open immediately. I'm looking more at days as opposed to weeks or months. But the bigger problem, the fix on the Brent Spence, will take much longer as they continue to assess the damage of a troubled bridge over the rough waters of 2020. Now remember, if you have to cross the Ohio, certain times of the day are a lot worse than others. If you can avoid rush hour at all, do that. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.